Marvel's Knights. Luke Cage, Power Man. Here's the packaging. I've already taken him out of the box. Here's some side artwork of him. Here's the back of the packaging. Now this wave has seven figures, but you only need six to build the mindless one. So there's a little close up. So we're gonna review Luke Cage, Power Man today. And at the back of the packaging, that's a little bio on Luke Cage there. You can pause right there if you wanna read it. The English version anyway. There's a picture of him. So he comes with the leg for the mindless one. It's gonna be a builder figure, so you're gonna buy all six. So this looks like it's the left leg. Yeah, this is the left leg. He comes with two fists. And then two open hands. Already have them on, Luke Cage. So let's talk about the negatives first, right away, and get those out of the way. He has no ab crunch here. So he only can bend forward. Like most Marvel Legends now have an ab crunch, but they didn't want to break up the sculpt, they said, when they premiered this figure. Uh, the underarms, it looks like he's wearing sleeves because they didn't paint this yellow underneath his arm. On either side. And the yellow on his elbows is off. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. This doesn't match. It's not a color match. But let's score the good things. So his arms are double jointed and they are pinless. Legs are also double jointed. They are pinless. He comes with his belt. Like this is like the seventies version of Luke Cage. So in the comics he had on this belt right here and on the head sculpt, you can see he's got the, like this crown type of thing. It comes around the head and it's molded in. You can't take that off. And then he's got ankle pivot. There is no calf break right here, so it cannot pivot. And then you can take the uh, fist off. This metal clasp, if it comes off, mine are like stuck or molded in. So that doesn't come off on mine, and I'm not gonna try to pull it off. And then you can put on his fist. And then there he is with his fist on. Couple of figures I have laying around right now. There's the Venom, uh, movie Venom. And we can see how he compares in height to Grey Hulk. This is the, the two-pack version of the Hulk that came out. Comes up like right into the middle of his chest for height. And let's do the other. Joe Fix It.
And then that's how he compares to Joe Fixit. So if you're building this little team here, or the powerhouse team, I should say, some of the toughest Marvel characters right here. But if I was rating to rate Power Man, I would give him an eight out of 10. I have to take off because of this is not painted and then there's no ab crunch. Really the main thing is the ab crunch. Like without the calf swivel here, I mean, your human body doesn't really turn like that anyway. So that's not really a big deal for me because we can turn the whole calf up here and then we still have the double jointed legs. So, but this and then the ab crunch are probably more advantageous that I don't like overall on the figure. I still say he's a pickup because we haven't gotten a Luke Cage in like, I don't know how long. And then with the pinless technology, makes it a good figure. Now, if they make Iron Fist and uh, the other ensemble of the cast or Misty Knight again and some other new characters, New York's heroes, that'd be pretty cool to go alongside with them. And then if you want to build the build a figure, here's one of the parts, once again, you have to get to complete the set. And I say it's a pickup if you can find him. He's showing up in stores now or online. So still recommend him until we get another one to see what they improve on the next version of uh, Luke Cage. And it's just been so long. But thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Peace.